Hello and welcome to this new tutorial and uh, in this tutorial series I want to cover how to make this 8th segment display here so you can make some random stuff so um, you can change the decimals or where the decimal point is and also speed and all that stuff you can change the color let's see more red for example and all that just with drivers also you can simply adjust the numbers with these sliders here um, yeah each value can be controlled by that one by, the, by these sliders here and everything just with um, drivers. Uh, let's see, select one object really quick and you see here are some of the drivers I needed and also here so you see quite complex stuff um, let's see and these are all drivers here and I just want to cover that how I used that and also how I made these sliders because that was one of the most difficult parts in that uh, project uh, it took me one day to make that setup work and also another ha half day or so to actually animate it like that so it works so I can go into the timeline let's see and just go with super speed forwards and you see it just counts until 999 uh, oh or 999 uh, .9 or so and yeah of course you can add some more numbers but yeah for me it's enough you also see now a quick render I did so just uh, counting the seconds just a really quick render and that's enough and now we go into a new scene and I actually recorded that um, one times the series and it just wasn't happy because the setup was so complex that I um, get confused myself so now I added the plane and just scale it add a shortcut right in the middle it's important that it stays right at the center and now I want to change the pivot point to active element and rotate 45 degrees so we get one of these segments and rotate negative 45 so you see we have one segment actually make it just a little bit shorter and now I wanna um, just move it until it's just a little bit above the pivot point here so that one or oh not the pivot point the origin see see that is the object origin point so when I scale it scales along this when I rotate and this is just the center point of this or not the center point but uh, the point of the object and I just want to have this last vertex here just a little bit above that one so something like that now I want to add or not add I want to duplicate it with shift T rotate 40 oh 90 degrees uh, what happened I went to another layer rotate 90 degrees and again and you see we have already one half of it 
And now I wanna just add in really quick um, hook to new object. And now I can remove that edge loop right in here. And I just wanna use that one that's empty here to mirror these two. So I join these two together, select both and press Ctrl J. And I want to mirror these two along the empty. And we can apply the modifier and remove the hook modifier and the uh, uh, empty. Uh, uh, um. Now we have that and we want to have uh, one of these segments right up here as well. So I joined these together. Now I select this vertex here and say selected, no, cursor is selected. And I just move it 0 0.05 upwards. Ba -ba -bum. Uh, let's see, actually we can have a look how much that is. So it's accurate. So under grease pencil, you have rule protector, and it's 0 0.3. So I move that out of the 3D cursor in the y direction plus 0 0.03. And now I can select that, press numpad, or not numpad, um, just a normal period, so we ar rotate around the 3D cursor and rotate the duplicated negative 90 degrees. The same down here, cursor to selected, uh, negative 0 0.03 I think, and duplicate it and rotate 90 degrees. So, save it. Ba -ba -bum. And actually, I think I will adjust it really quick so the gap is a little bit bigger. So, we see it a little, it a little bit better because when I add in here a uh, emission material really quick, slightly yellowish color. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe it works. So we'll let it as it is. We can change it later. So now I want to add the uh, origin to geometry with Control alt shift c and set it back to the zero point with alt g and now we can start to make the slider object. And for that I add in a plane, scale it 0 0.5, just move it up here so we see it a little bit better. And I scaled it by 0 0.5 because I wanna have one, uh, one unit, one render unit. So when we delete this vertex up here and just repeat it with the array modifier. This is one blender unit. Repeat that 10 times, set this merge and we can delete that one here and we have the basic slider. But of course we need the numbers, so I duplicate that one. And move it here. And now we can add in an other array modifier, but we want to have a constant offset. And that's one in the x direction and apply the rotation scale. And now you see we have one blender unit in between. Apply that one. And right now it's just 8888. And we just have to delete some segments and we have the numbers. 
Uh, let's see. Two, three, uh, 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 four, five. No, the other way around. This one, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Delete the vertices and we have the numbers. Just move that here. So now we can join that. Control J and we have one object for the slider. And I also want to make these just a little bit smaller. So I hope you can still follow along because I work quite fast I think. But that shouldn't be too hard for you, because it's just basic stuff. So move that a little bit up. So, that's now our slider. And I want to hide that really quick and set the cursor to that vertex up here. And also the origin to 3D cursor. And if you don't want to use that just forever long shortcut, you can simply set it here, set origin to 3D cursor for example. Because uh, we have now the origin at that vertex here and we can press Alt G and this point is right at 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, yeah. And now we can add um, a plane scale it along a little bit and add in a loop and move it down and now extrude them. Scale 0 and we have our error. So, and here we want to have the origin at this vertex down here. Now I can press Alt G and they are at the same point. So apply the scale. So let's see rotation works I think yeah. So now we made that. We can add the limit location constraint under constraints limit location and minimum x and maximum x and at the maximum we want to have 9 because it's 9 blender units from here to here so it starts at 0 as you see here we can move it along but it just doesn't display it so here at 0 to 9 but we want to use the local space because otherwise uh, if we would parent that to that, you see I just could move it until here, but when we use the local space, we can move it as we want and still just move it from here to here. And you see we can move it in the y direction and so as well and rotate it. And so we avoid that, we simply lock the y and z location, the rotations and the scales and now we can move it just here and I also want to disable the relation lines so we don't see the parenting so right here so that's the slider and the number and let's see how long it takes 14 minutes. Um, yeah, I will end that now here. And the next part, uh, we're gonna finish the setup here with the materials and also start adding the first drivers to the material. Uh, yeah, so I will split that in a few parts and the next one will come soon hopefully and i hope you like that and if you have some questions because you don't understand something 
or you just uh, want to know a shortcut I used or so, just write it in the comments. And I hope I see you in my next part. And yeah, bye until that and happy planting.